Okay, again, we're trying to use inverse operations here and just slowly work our way down to an answer. Inverse operations. Um, not just by guessing the answer or kind of saying this, 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 there's my answer. A lot of you are getting good at keeping the two sides separate, right? You have two, two different sides and uh, working on doing the same thing to both sides. I think most of you are getting used to, if you have a number multiplied by something, and then adding or subtracting something, the thing you need to get rid of first is this extra number, right? When we used the balance, it was uh, the extra piece that you had to get rid of. So here you're going to add four to both sides. Every time you do something to both sides and you get a result, the result here is just 3x on this side. And the result on this side is, what is it? Minus 15. Well, if I have negative 19 plus 4, what does that give me? Minus 15 plus just if you, if you take that result now, it doesn't matter if you write the 3x here or if you, some of you put it, uh, whoops, some of you, some of you put it in here, but whatever you're doing, for, there's an advantage to putting it there because then it's clear this this stuff turns out to be zero. I notice some of you like to put a zero there. You don't need to put a zero there because you don't need to say plus zero doesn't add anything to it, right? Just write it as 3x equals 15. You do something to both sides, you get a result. What you do to both sides now is divide by 3, and you get the result that says x equals negative 5, okay? Two-step equations, you get two steps to your answer. The other one here, maybe people were running into some problems, but the the line down the center is right here this time, right? The the variable's on the other side, but it doesn't matter. Just treat both sides. It doesn't matter if that you know the number by itself is on the right or the left. You still have to do something. You're trying to isolate this. So start by getting rid of that 20. That 20 is a positive 20. The symbol in front of it is what makes it positive or negative. Don't look at this symbol to decide what to do. This thing's a positive 20. So how do you get rid of a positive 20? Minus 20 from both sides. Put a result down. You get this side, you get negative 12. What do you get on the other side? This is 0, but we don't need to put down the 0, right? You're just left with this negative 3x. Negative 3x equals negative 12. Got to divide both sides by negative three. negative 3. So what do you get? Your result is 4, four right? The, the common mistake is to lose this negative sign. I think, well, I mean, in a, probably the way you've learned it is you've learned that this sign goes in between these two numbers, and then when the first number is gone, you don't need that anymore. Well, you do because this sign goes with the thing after it. You could write this as plus negative 3x if you want, right? And the plus <laughs> sign just ties those two together. The sign goes with the thing after it, so don't lose that negative sign there, okay? And then you can put a box around your answer if you want. Are we good with that, hopefully? All right. <laughs>